Well, I've stopped using the control ring on the Canon RF lenses. And not only did I stop using it, I kind of wish they weren't even there at all. So I'll tell you why. I'll give you three good reasons why I'm done with the control ring. So Canon introduced a couple of years ago with their RF lenses, the control ring, which is just another function on the lens that you can assign different functions to. Uh, you can adjust your shutter speed, your ISO, exposure compensation, just by adjusting this little ring on the lens. Uh, I was very excited about it at first. I did a video about it. I was looking forward to using it to give my left hand something else to do while my right hand was busy with buttons and dials. I can quickly make an adjustment using the control ring on the lens. Uh, it was on all the RF lenses. It was on the one of the Canon EF to RF adapters. Had a control ring on there. I didn't get that one. Uh, and I was kind of excited to use it. I tried it. I really tried to make something of it. I tried to use it. And I found I used it a little bit, really not that much, because the, f the function that was assigned to it, it was really nothing just to do with my finger or my thumb the way I always did before. And what I did find, which I was kind of afraid of in the beginning, was accidentally turning it, accidentally adjusting it when I didn't know it was happening. So basically, while the camera is on and active, anytime you turn this, it's going to adjust whatever function you have assigned to it. And it did happen to me a couple of times. You know, I pick up the camera to shoot, and I realize I'm two-thirds overexposed and wondering why, and that's basically why. This thing, fairly easy. If you're resting it on something, brush it up against something, fairly easy to turn this ring. Uh, so that's really the main reason why I stopped using it was because I, it really didn't help me that much. It really didn't take that much away from my right hand. Um, and with all the cameras I've used all, over all the years, a muscle memory of just being able to quickly turn a dial or press a button with my right hand, you know, it was already there. It really didn't take anything away. So I wasn't using the control ring as much as I thought I might. And the occasional accidental turning of it, adjusting your settings, I ended up just disabling it and turning it off. Uh, it's, like I said, because the muscle memory that you have with your right hand on the controls, it's the same camera that you're using all the time. For most people, using one camera all the time, you know exactly where all your buttons and dials are. On the control ring on the RF lens, is this, it's actually in different places. Uh, this is the 15 to 35 zoom, it's out here at the end. Uh, the 50 millimeter, it's out here at the end also. The 70 to 200, it's actually back here at the base of the lens, uh, which what I ended up doing is putting a piece of tape around here this way I wouldn't accidentally adjust it. Um, kind of looks cool too. Um, it, it's in a different spot, so it's not even in the same place uh, where you're looking for it. This is the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens and you can actually change, there's a ring here at the end, you can change it to either the control ring function or the manual focus function. Uh, it's at the end here also, so it's in a slightly different place on each lens, so you really don't have that muscle memory of knowing exactly where it is because it's in different places on different lenses. So that's the second reason why I didn't like using it was because I didn't always know where it was. It wasn't seamless. It wasn't easy just to put my hand in a place and adjust it, you know, move the ring and adjust the function, adjust the setting uh, the way I could easily do it with my right hand without even really thinking about it. And then I came to realize that, you know, having another something that moves on your lens it's just something else that moves on your lens that could, you know, when I'm reaching for, you know, this is the zoom, the 15 to 35 zoom, when I'm reaching for a function, I don't always know exactly which dial, which ring here does what. Uh, there's right here is the, is the zoom function here, and then just next to it, touching up against it, is the focus function. And then right next to that is the control ring. And I don't always know, like if I'm reaching for this and I want to change something, you know, tactile, I can feel with my fingers uh, it does feel a little bit different, but I feel something that moves. So I might take this and I might try to adjust the control ring, thinking I'm adjusting the focus, not realizing why it's not focusing. It takes me out of the moment for just a, even if it's just for a split second or one or two seconds, it kind of takes me away from, oh wait, what am I doing? Oh, it's this isn't the focus, this is the focus. Or I go to zoom and I'm zooming this. And you know, the same thing goes for the 70 to 200. Uh, you know, the controls, again, totally opposite here where the zoom control is over here. The manual focus is further in towards the camera and the control ring is in here. So you can be thinking you're doing something that you're not necessarily doing. On the 50 millimeter 1.2, these two controls are right next to each other. I'd rather not have this here at all, moving at all. I wish there was a way that you could lock it 
Maybe there is. I don't think there is. I wish there was a way that you can lock it where it doesn't rotate at all. Let me check that out. Yeah, you can. And it actually takes a moment or two to find the settings in there because it's under the uh, the adjust your the controls for the dials and buttons. Uh, so it's not even that easy to find. I have it turned off. I wish there was a way, like I said, you can lock it so it doesn't turn at all. Um, but it's basically, for me, it's just another thing that I'm just not going to use. I kind of wish it wasn't there. Uh, I think it was a nice experiment. Maybe people who are starting out with RF lenses who, you know, they learn that way and they get to know the function of the camera. For me, using my right hand, the buttons and dials with my right hand, it's just muscle memory. I know where everything is. I know exactly how it works. I don't need the function. I'm not even always touching the lens. You know, sometimes I'm shooting with one hand. My left hand is holding a reflector or doing something else or propping against something. I'm not even touching the lens with my left hand to even use it. I'd rather not have it at all. It was a good effort. It was a nice idea. I'm not going to use it. So that's, I think that was three reasons why I'm no longer using the control ring. I still love the RF lenses, but the control ring, I don't need it. Uh, any thing you found with the control ring, any great functions that you really like it, you've been using it. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.